because I want to ask you about Congressman Justin Amash becoming the first Republican lawmaker to say the president has committed impeachable offenses. You have said impeachment is not a top priority for you. Does this at all change the equation for you? Does it add any pressure on Democrats to start impeachment proceedings, protect constitutional rights that Congress has to do oversight? So, look, what I said is, and this remains true, that when I'm in the 45th district, as I am every weekend and many weeks, I don't hear a lot about impeachment from my constituents. Mm -hmm. I get questions about prescription drug pricing. Right. I get lots of questions about pre-existing conditions, about infrastructure. These are real problems on the minds of the American people. My constituents don't ask me very frequently about impeachment. But to be clear, I've read the Mueller report. There is significant findings in the Mueller report, including in the concluding sentences in which the Mueller report says, if we knew the president had not obstructed justice, we would, we would say that, and we declined to do so. And so it is very clear if you read the Mueller report that there is a need for Congress to continue to do the oversight necessary to make a decision about whether or not we should begin impeachment. I also want to remind the American people, impeachment isn't a conviction. Impeachment in the House is a decision that there is enough evidence that we should send the situation forward to the United States Senate, which is the body that will conduct a trial and do additional fact-finding and determination. So the House's job here is to reach a different evidentiary threshold than the Senate, who would actually be this body that would decide whether or not the president had, in fact, committed obstruction of justice. Our job is to see, is there enough evidence to push this forward?